Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Like other YouTubers usually say, today we're going to be chai Jesus. Today we're going to be debunking four separate myths, and I want to find out if any of these are actually true, which one is true, and what is the actual truth. First one: microwaves cause cancer. You know that thing you used to put your food inside and then you warm it and then it'll be going around zoom, then you go ding 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 ding, then you eat it. They say it used to cause cancer. Is it true? Second one: putting your phone in a refrigerator improves the battery life probably because it cools it down i mean i understand why some people might think of that but we're gonna talk about it today the third one sleeping next to your phone actually kills your brain cells hmm. and finally using your phone's alarm is actually going to damage your brain what is the truth let's actually start from the very top first off microwaves causing cancer well the answer to that unfortunately actually that's there's nothing unfortunate about that fortunately is no microwaves will not cause cancer yes a lot of people believe that microwaves are going to break down the structure of the food making it unhealthy and so on and so forth that's a completely separate conversation between you and your nutritionist and your doctor i'm here to talk about the tech and the technology of the microwave is not as a matter of fact going to cause radiation why microwaves use non-ionizing radiation which is simply not strong enough they are basically rf it's not strong enough to actually cause cancer. It's not like ultraviolet rays or X-rays or even gamma rays that can cause cancer. In fact, the sun has a better chance of causing you cancer than the microwave you bought to be warming your food does. But if you, you know, just for all intents and purposes, you want to be careful that these plastic covers that they sell now that you can put on the plate of your food so that you can cover the food while you microwave it. If that makes you feel better, definitely use that. You are welcome. Now, moving on to the second thing, which is, Putting your phone in a refrigerator actually improves the battery life. I can see why people would think that and I explained this in a previous video many many years ago and it's mostly because the refrigerator makes sure that the temperature of your battery is cool but that in itself could also actually damage your battery. I'll explain very quickly. When your phone is very very hot, you're outside in the sun, you leave it inside the hot car, you leave it on the bonnet of a car, it enters it, the battery is going to you get it? But here's the problem. If you go the other extreme and it becomes extremely cold, almost to the point of freezing, the same thing happens. The battery is going to discharge because it's going to become unstable and so on and so forth. Extreme cold is going to slow down the chemical reaction inside of your lithium ion battery and it will do almost permanent damage in most cases to that battery. So the right thing to do would be to actually keep your phone within room temperature that is somewhere between 20 and 30 degrees celsius anything more than that or below that is probably not good for your battery i know that there's people yes who are living in places where the temperature outside is minus one degrees in those instances their phone would also be acting up just like your phone is acting up when you're inside you know traffic emotion and the bus is cooked with like 300 people and everywhere is hot and you're uncomfortable and sweating your phone's battery is also going to die quicker the guy who has a great life in norway or in iceland it's probably going through the same thing as you. The only thing is it's not sweating, it's freezing, which again is also equally dangerous. So repeated exposure to extreme heat or extreme cold conditions is actually going to damage your battery. Think about that, know about that. Also, if you're trying to make your battery last longer, this is something I've always preached, only ever charge it from 20 to 80 percent. Keep it within those. Don't let it fall below 20 and don't let it go above 80 more often than not. The reason is because you don't want to increase the life cycle or the number of cycles that your battery has done too quickly so that the battery does not age faster and then, you know, can't hold a charge anymore. Moving on to the third thing, sleeping next to your phone would actually kill your brain cells. Again, I don't see why anyone would say this, but I can understand the idea that using your phone all the time will kill your brain cells because what are you doing on social media doom scrolling all the time? You're getting dumber. Go and read a book. Do something else with your life. I get the Nigerian parent aspect of you know your phone is killing your brain cells but i don't see how having your phone next to you when you sleep is going to kill brain cells here is what it could affect however when you're in REM sleep you are asleep or you're in REM you're not really if kidnap your entire room now and they're off your path you will not know that type of sleep an alarm a phone ringing a notification could pop up and wake you up and then it could instantly inter interrupt your sleep that could do extreme damage to your mind and your brain you are finger my brain aside the fact that waking up abruptly like that from deep sleep could give you a headache or a migraine you could be groggy all day you could struggle to focus there is also you know research that has shown that if you're suddenly or abruptly interrupted when you're in REM sleep it could actually do damage to your brain but again if your phone is next to you and you have it in sleep mode or you have it in dnd or you have your notifications turned off or you have it switched off even i don't see how that could possibly affect 
your brain in any way but there's a psychological habit of it right the habit that you know if your phone is constantly accessible to you you won't be able to switch off and focus on enjoying other things or basically rest and sleep that is the only reason why i would say maybe you don't keep your phone right next to you every time you're going to bed but beyond that no your brain cells are not going to die because your phone is on and it's next to you and to the final thing this is probably one of the most interesting ones because i'd actually not heard this one until today somebody just sent me this using your phone's alarm damages your brain i have a question what's the difference between my phone alarm and using an actual alarm clock that i bought that i have to press buttons on it it's not the same noise how exactly is the clock different from my phone discuss in the comment section five thousand naira for whoever can convince me five thousand is not too small it's easy work okay ten thousand naira for whoever can convince me in the comment section okay that the alarm on my phone is different from buying an alarm clock and using it what's the difference and why exactly would the one on my phone damage my brain this one is not even a myth it just sounds like something somebody cooked up and then everybody just ran with it anyway phones are not going to you know the alarm on your phone is not going to damage your brain cells it's not going to make you die yes again interruptions to your sleep abruptly especially when you're in deep sleep can cause grogginess moodiness you know reduce focusing you can even have a headache or a migraine throughout the day because of it but ultimately a gentle alarm maybe reducing the volume so that the the wake-up call is not too sudden could help right so that you're not interrupted abruptly and then you don't start having a migraine first thing in the morning also if you know that you have to wake up by 7 a.m why are you going to bed by 5 30 you'll be kiki king watching netflix and you think your life is okay you are your own problem so why, why won't you like when you're supposed to be sleeping you are texting babe people are doing midnight call extra cool when you're supposed to be sleeping because you know you have something important you need to do the next day you are the problem forget about love focus on your okay i'm i'm it's like i'm projecting my trauma now let this video end now hopefully we've debunked all four of these myths and you know that none of these are true thank you so much for watching give me a subscribe if you like the video if you don't like it still subscribe because you know i need the subscribers do i actually need the subscribers they said we need the subscribers when a challenge against talk by for Maki. so please subscribe and i guess i will see you on another video that was shot by kagan you're welcome.